Oh Hello there guys, my name is Matt and today I'm going to be showing you how to make a full set of concrete worktops for your kitchen. So keep watching and I'll show you how. So we're going to start off by cutting down some 18mm melamine board into the rectangular shapes of the countertops and then cutting some strips for the sides and then we're going to be sticking them on. So that's the first piece done. I've put the side pieces all the way around the outside. I've made sure that every time I've screwed in, every 25 to 30 centimeters, I've put a tape measure along and just check that it's 40 millimeters in height all the way around. Okay. So all of the molds can essentially be made the same way. It's basically just some rectangular molds with a depth of 40 millimeters in this case. And then we're using some 50 millimeter insulation to make a cutout, which is going to be molded into the worktop for the sink. And we're just using some sellotape here to make the side smoother so that it comes out nice and smooth when it's actually molded in the concrete. Then you want to mark out the positions of where the insulation will go on the mold so that when you're gluing it down, you know exactly where to put it straight away. You can use grab adhesive or a hot glue gun for this bit, but I found that grab adhesive gives you a little bit more time to maneuver the inserts just so that you get them in exactly the right position before it goes off. For rounding and sealing the edges, I recommend using a neutral cure silicon like the one I'm using in this video. You can find a link in the description for this particular product along with any other tools and products used in this video. Then use the back of a drill bit with the size that you want to round the edges. And once it's cured, you can then clean the excess with a razor blade. You can then measure out the mold and decide where to place steel reinforcement. I like to use 10mm rebar for thin sections like either side of the sink and 6mm steel mesh for large open sections. You can then use steel wire or cable ties to hold the reinforcement together. You can then use a very thin layer of cooking oil or a paste wax as mold release. I'm then mixing up four 25 kilogram bags of 40 Newton high strength concrete. With 2% pigment by cement weight, which is 333 grams and then 83 grams, which is 0.05% super plasticizer. Then add water and mix well until you get a fairly sloppy mix. You'll see the consistency in a second. And if you're mixing up more than one batch of concrete for the same set of countertops that all need to be the same color, make sure to distribute each of the batches evenly across all of the molds, and then additionally mix them in the molds by hand, because a slight difference in pigment weight can cause a mismatch in color. Then shake the molds up and down to vibrate the concrete. This will make sure that all the air bubbles rise to the top and it will make the concrete stronger and it will come out smoother. You can also use an SDS drill on hammer mode to vibrate the edges. Then leave the concrete to cure for two to three days under a plastic sheet and grind the concrete flat and flush with the edges with a 50 or 40 grit polishing pad and a machine polisher. You can then check the concrete is flat and flush with the edges using a straight edge. You can then remove the foam insulation and grind these areas flat if there are any high spots. Then it's time to flip the moulds over, being careful not to pinch your fingers under the worktops as they come down. You can then demould the worktops, revealing the smooth concrete finish beneath. This is what happens when you do concrete worktops in the winter outdoors. I'm then using some 1200 grit wet and dry paper to polish the top of the worktop. But before you do this, if you have any voids in the surface, you can fill them in with a cement slurry paste, which is just a mixture of water and cement. You can see these are dark spots on the surface that I'm polishing away. Once you've finished polishing, wipe the worktops down to clean them and allow them to dry for several hours indoors or in the sun. Then saturate the surface with several layers of a good quality matte finish sealer with a high temperature rating. You can Find a link in the description for the one that I'm using in this video.
there we go. I've just wiped them all off on the top. You can see here now they're drying out. And we've got a nice, even matte finish. And they come out a really nice, light gray color. I'm really happy with how this set of worktops turned out. It really matches this cottagey slash industrial style kitchen that I made them for. If you found this video helpful, then please do like and subscribe to this channel. It will help more people see this video and I've got plenty more concrete content coming for you in the future. So thank you very much for watching and I'll see you guys soon.